In this video, you are going to learn how to access Chargent support, as well as some of the great resources that we have for our customers. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargent. Do you want to learn more about Salesforce and payments? If so, we have made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. Get the link in the description below. Chargent customers are all over the world, and for that reason, we strive to provide effective resources online to support our customers in every time zone. Here are the steps. Step one, installation. For my first step, I'm going to show you the online installation page, which is on our website. From the home page of www.appfrontier.com, navigate to help and docs, and then to installation. From the installation page, you can install Chargent into a sandbox, a production or a developer org in which it is not yet installed in. Just click the Install Chargent Trial button here. The trial will last for 30 days. You can also upgrade your Chargent packages to the current version of the Chargent application here by clicking the Upgrade Chargent button. Click here on the Quick Start Guide for more detailed instruction. There are several Chargent packages, such as Chargent Base, Chargent Anywhere, and Chargent Terminal, and you want to make sure that you are selecting the packages which you have. Not sure? Great news! You can check in Salesforce Setup in Installed Packages to review your Chargent packages. Step two, Payment Gateway Guides. For my second step, I'm going to be demonstrating where to find the online documentation for each of the 30 plus payment gateways that Chargent connects to Salesforce. To see your specific gateways documentation, click on Help and Docs here, and then click on Payment Gateways. Here you see a listing of all the gateways which Chargent supports, including Cybersource, WorldPay Vantiv, Stripe, Authorize.net, Braintree, PayPal Payflow, and many more. Click on the name of your gateway, just as I am clicking on Authorize.net here, to see detailed instruction for your gateway, including test credit card numbers and any specifics you need to know for setup and testing. Step three, Chargent documentation. For my next step, I will demonstrate the documentation for all of the Chargent features. Simply click on Help and Docs again from the main menu, and this time click on Documentation. There is a search tool here, and you can see that we have outlined the site for faster navigation here on the left. Click on Testing for information about testing with Chargent. It is very important to be diligent with your testing so that you can avoid anything unexpected when you are processing live transactions with your customers. You can see some of my other Chargent support videos here as well. Next, click on Using Chargent for an explanation of how transactions such as authorizations, charges, refunds, and more work in Chargent and Salesforce. Next, click on Payment Request and Console for information about those two premium Chargent features as well as Chargent Anywhere, the Lightning Web component which you can add to any object in Salesforce. Next, click Recurring Billing for use cases for recurring billing and important setup information. There are a lot of moving parts for recurring billing, so if you have questions, be sure to reach out to the Chargent support team. The next section, Automated Collections, provides use cases and instructions for setting up the Automated Collections module, which enables you to configure follow-up actions for missed payments to be collected without your staff's involvement. Next, click on Customizing Chargent to see how to configure email notifications, as well as tips and tricks for using Salesforce Process Builder with Chargent. The next section, Chargent API and Integrations, is where to find information about working with the Chargent API and how to set up Chargent's Take Payment component in Salesforce communities. The next section, Chargent Partner Connectors, provides information for the Chargent integration with other applications such as Salesforce Billing, Accounting Seed, and Form Assembly. Phew, that was a lot to cover. Have questions? You know what to do. Reach out to the Chargent support team. Step four, knowledge base. For our next step, we will look at our knowledge base. You can click on knowledge base here to get there or click on help and docs from the main menu and then click on Knowledge Base there. The Chargent Knowledge Base is full of Chargent knowledge that we want to share with you. There are hundreds of great articles that cover a wide range of topics from how-tos, such as how to set up tokenization, or how to run the batch from the developer's console. In addition, there are articles with recommendations such as best practices for data migration and for recurring billing. Plus, if you ever see an error message in Salesforce, 
search the knowledge base and you will likely find an article explaining what it means. If you have suggestions for new knowledge base articles, please let us know. Your feedback is important to us. Step five, contacting support. For this final step, I'm going to show the Chargent support team page. To navigate to the support page, go to the website, www.appfrontier.com, click on the contact us button here, and then click on the Chargent customers button. From this page, you can submit a ticket to the Chargent support team. Simply complete the fields here, being sure to add as much information as possible to assist us to provide you with the most timely solution, and then click on the submit button. When you are not able to navigate to the website, no worries. You can send an email to the email address support at appfrontier.com, and it will start a case for the Chargent support team just as if you submitted a ticket on our website. If you are not able to email or submit a case online, you can call us. Our phone number is 415-275-1115 and extension 2 will get you right to the support team. The support team hours are Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. The App Frontier corporate headquarters is located in downtown San Francisco on Market Street, just a few blocks up from the Salesforce headquarters. At App Frontier, we use the Salesforce Service Cloud and by directing your inquiries to the Chargent support team, we are able to relate the case to your account. This way, we can find the cases faster when we need to refer to them later. In addition, we are able to maintain thorough Salesforce reporting to identify trends and ultimately to better serve our customers. And now, check out this next video. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help. So check out this next video.